past three years with due to COVID, I think it has propelled digitization. Has the way we think about our running our business, the way we think about a client looking at property, um, not only by search but also by exploring through 360 and other things that uh, agents and clients are interacting on technology. So nationwide, 2022 has been a very very slow year, but yet we are still able to see growth. Um, generally, we do about two billion to three billion transactions a year. In terms of our production, it's about 120, 130 um, oh, billion, I believe. If I'm not, I believe potential policies. We need to look at macro economy for the country first before we talk about the property market. Based on what I'm reading right now, the first issue that the government need to solve is income issue versus expense issues. Um, so I think the potential policy in play would be re reorganization of the subsidies, looking at how to increase income into the account, into the economy. Because when you have high income, when you have redistribution of subsidies, money is spent correctly, you will have a better economy to support the whole market. And potentially, hopefully, one of the policies that they can that the government can do is to encourage foreign investors to come in, which I think is starting to come in right now. Next, David, what are the buyer trends that you are seeing in the data um, so far based on the transactions that you have been studying? From the data, we can actually see that most of them in the market, they are still taken up by the investors. All this data is actually taken from our market center research app from by KW. This is the buy age la, that we can capture. The buying age is starting from 20. Yeah, I, and I think this is a very important chart. From a uh, data standpoint, the median age in Malaysia is still not very old. Age groups starting from the age of 20, 30, 40, so those are the active market, meaning there is a lot of demand the market for first home buyers, for first home investors. Our challenge is a lot of these young people are priced out of the market. So if you, if you look at this particular particular chart, uh, it just shows that residential is still the, the number one subsector for properties in our market. I would advise people to look at integration uh, very, very, very carefully uh, unless it's very established. Right. So these are some of the top five hotspots in terms of medium price per square feet, meaning it shows that there is growth in the medium price. And you can see they are all residential location. They are all places where the local market is in demand, right? Um, these are the five hotspots in terms of medium price that we saw in terms of stratified properties. You can see that there is growth in some of these locations where there is high demand for own occupancy. And the market is still transacting. It is still moving. Right? It's not something that is stagnant. Housing price um, trend. House price index is looking downwards since last year. There is a huge supply, oversupply in many locations. Now, is it going to go back up? I'm not sure. I believe it's going to be flat or down in the next one to two years due to the current economy. Unless there's a serious change, a systemic change in the entire economy uh, that suddenly increase the income, which I don't see that happening in the next six to 12 months. Having said that, I believe we are going to see a, a pressure, which to me as an investor is a good opportunity. You can see that the trend is trending down in the state of Slango. And if you look at KL, it's pretty much the same. Just that the medium price is up, demand is still there, depending on which level you're in. But I feel that financial planning is important. You need to know your risk reward appetite so that you know what you're going and what you're entering into. I think that's the first tip I want to give to all our listeners and audience here. The second thing is to talk to many, many professionals in the field and build a resource of people or expertise by location. Uh, if you are very cautious or you're very worried or you're are not the most adventurous person and but you still want to invest right go invest in prime location